Welcome to this episode of Learning Catalytics in Your Classroom. We'll be hearing from professors who will share their experiences of using learning catalytics in their classroom. The guest for this video will be Peggy Williamson. Peggy, please tell us who you are, what school you teach at, and what classes you teach. Hi, I'm Peggy Williamson, and I currently teach applied physiology and pathophysiology to graduate students in the Doctor of Physical Therapy program at the University of Mary Hardin Baylor. I also have 15 years experience teaching anatomy and physiology, primarily to undergraduate pre-nursing students. Can you tell us about how you're using learning catalytics in your classroom? My first experience with learning catalytics was several years ago during a pilot program. At that time, I was teaching anatomy and physiology one to a group full of students who just would not get engaged with the material. In fact, we were covering material faster that semester than I ever had because students just weren't asking or answering questions. I heard about learning catalytics and I thought, why not? So I gained access to the program and I put together a really simple activity that included primarily multiple choice questions with an occasional region question. And I was able to use that in my very next class. When I walked into class, I asked students to pull out their cell phones, their tablets, or their computers, and that got their attention. Then I started delivering questions and they were hooked. We spent some time discussing the questions and taking a look at each answer choice, discussing why they were correct or incorrect. And what was normally met with silence when I asked them if they would try to explain the answers to questions was suddenly met with lots of hands going up and students wanting to participate in class. The more engaged they became, the better they understood the material. And the better they understood the material, the higher their performance in my course. Now that I'm teaching at the graduate level, I've found learning catalytics to be just as engaging and just as effective. I like to use it at the start of class where I ask questions based on material that we covered in the previous lecture. And I also ask questions based on the reading assignments that they had for that day. This allows me to better fine tune and tailor my lectures to meet my students' needs. And it also gives them an idea of areas that are causing them challenges. That sounds awesome. Can you tell us the thing you like most about learning catalytics or perhaps what you find most useful? What I love about learning catalytics is how versatile it is. Not only is it effective in the face-to-face -face environment, but as I've been transitioning my courses over the past year to the online format, I found it just as engaging and just as effective whether or not I am teaching a synchronous class or an asynchronous class. And finally, do you have any advice for new instructors? I would encourage new instructors to just log into Learning Catalytics and begin using it. Keep in mind that you don't have to master all of its components immediately. Start by creating a simple assignment that maybe focuses on multiple choice questions if that's what you're comfortable with. Then as you become more familiar with the product, you can start varying the types of questions that you ask. Learning Catalytics is not only simple to use, but it's a powerful tool to help reinforce content, to assess areas of strength and weaknesses, and also to help make that learning environment more meaningful to your students.